In a previous tutorial, I showed you how you can transfer a JSON data file onto Firestore using either Python or JavaScript, which is Node.js. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing, but in this case, we're going to use PHP to transfer our JSON data onto Firebase Firestore. So here we have a JSON data file with up to 500 data items. What we want to do is transfer this data onto our Firestore backend. So here I have a project open on my Firebase Firestore. Within this project, as you can see, we have no documents here yet. I'm going to go back to the editor and here I'm going to run a command uh, which is based on this PHP script. And what this class is going to do is it's going to transfer this JSON data onto our Firestore backend. As you can see, our data has successfully been transferred onto uh, the Firestore backend. And here it says a success upload. And we it took about 30 seconds or so to do that. And let's go to our Firestore backend to confirm that this data has been uh, transferred successfully. And I'm going to refresh uh, the Cloud Console page to make sure that the documents or the collection has been added. So here we have a collection called Demo Users. And here within this collection, there were up to 500 uh, data items which are from our JSON uh, file. Another thing you'll notice here is we use custom IDs. Uh, this is based on our class where we provided uh, both a method for using a custom ID and another method for just uh, going with Firebase, Firestore, auto-generated IDs. So it will depend on your use case. If you want custom IDs, you should use the set method. But if you want Firebase to auto-generate the IDs, then just go ahead by adding the collection with the add method. Basically, to run this class, what we did is we pass in uh, a PHP file as an argument. This PHP file contains our the class, the PHP class, and then we have our data, our JSON data file. We provide a relative path to our JSON data file, and the next argument uh, in our control. It's just uh, the Firestore set method. The set method here for custom IDs, or you can use the add method, which is going to use the Firebase Firestore auto-generated IDs. And finally, here is just the collection name. And you can set this to anything. So now let's take a look at our PHP script. Basically, we start with our PHP tags. And then the next thing we do is we are going to bring in uh, autoload. Uh, if you're new to PHP, probably you should learn how to use Composer uh, to be able to use this uh, PHP script. So we are using Composer here as a package management uh, to run this script. And next, I left a couple of comments here because Google Firestore is not going to work out of the box for you. You're going to have to do some implementation uh, to set up your system to be able to even add Firestore to your Composer. Uh, so first of all, go ahead and go through these Google uh, implementation of PHP on your system. And if, when you're done with that, uh, then you should be able to then uh, run Composer require to add these two uh, packages. If you have any difficulties trying to set this up, just leave a comment and I'll try to guide you through that. The next thing I did was to bring in uh, Firestore client, which is what we need because we're going to be transferring our uh, JSON data onto the Firestore client. Here I have a class called upload JSON file Firestore. This is basically a PHP class. And here I declared a couple of class variables. So here we have a class constructor. And within the class constructor, we here basically is to work out the time that it will take for this script to run. And next, I had to initialize a uh, Firestore client. And in order to do that, you're going to need uh, the JSON 
uh, service account file from your Cloud Firestore backend. So make sure you get this because without these JSON Firestore file, you won't be able to connect to your Firestore backend. And after that, I'm going to, since I'm using our command line, uh, since I'm using command line arguments, so I'm going to check to make sure that the list of arguments here is uh, at least up to four. So I do a count of uh, the arguments uh, from our command line. Then the next thing I did was here, just get the command line arguments and assign them to the instant variables. So here, for example, the JSON file path, it's going to point uh, to our argument at least position one. And the second method is going to point at our command line argument at least position two. And the collection at our command line argument of least position three. And here, the next thing I did was, uh, I did just a little check to make sure that the method that will be sent, it's either set or add. So if you try to put in any other string to run this script, it's going to throw a PHP exception, wrong argument exception, and it said set or add are the only acceptable methods. Next, we have the main method of our class, which is the upload method. Here, basically, this method is going to process the JSON data, upload the JSON data back to our uh, Firestore backend. So first thing I did was to get uh, the JSON file, read the JSON file using PHP file get content. Then next, uh, I decode this JSON string to an associative array. Then with that, I do a forish loop to go through the data. And here I will just be printing, as you can see here, each array as we go do a loop through uh, the items of uh, the data. Then what I did next was to check to make sure that a method matches either the set method or the add method. And if it matches, then it should go ahead. Then here, finally, I did a check to make sure that uh, in completion of our loop, uh, I'm going to lock down a message on our console or our terminal to indicate to us that our script has finished running and the time it took for this uh, script to run through. The add and the set methods. So here is a set method. The set method is basically, uh, as I have tried to mention before, you're going to be setting the documents with custom IDs while the add method is just going to use the Firebase Firestore auto-generated IDs. What we need to do next was to just declare a class, create an object of it, and call the upload method of our class. And that is it for this script. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And